good morning students so we are passing through the chapter actually locomotion and movement right so in this chapter in the previous session we talk about uh, types of movement and types of muscle and the skeletal muscle right so elaborately we have learned about the structure of the skeletal muscle right and especially we can say the skeletal muscle consists of you know muscle fibers the muscle fiber consists of a lot of rod like structures it is known as myofibrils so this is the myofibril so it's a muscle fiber and it consists of this lot of rod like structure known as myofibrils when we expand on myofibrils this myofibril consists of alternate dark band as well as the light bands right dark band as well as light band so this this structure only especially we have learned in yesterday's class so this consists of this alternative light band as well as a dark band and in the center it consists of this uh, is it so it is bisected by the line m line and this on uh, the light band is bisected by this is a disc right so the sarcomere in the sense this this uh, the parts which is present between these two disc is a disc is known as a sarcomere actually this is the part which is responsible for muscle contraction by the contraction of this act, actin uh, otherwise this light band and this dark band only the movement will be produced right so in this session we supposed to discuss about this the structure of contractile protein so which means this dark band as well as the light band is composed of some protein substances so this protein only playing the major role for the contraction right so how the contraction happens that we can see at the second topic so now we have to discuss regarding this the structure of this proteins which is present in these two filaments do you get me okay let us move to this structure so structure of contractile proteins right so as we say the muscle consists of major two filaments right so what are the filaments are there thick filament as well as thin filament right so this thick filament is otherwise known as a dark band okay and the thin filament is otherwise known as a slight band right or we could say it is a a band thick filament or dark band is known as a c band meanwhile this thin filament and the light band is known as a i band right so this is a two filament uh, of this muscles right okay now let us talk about this the proteins which is present in this each filament thick filament as well as thin filament okay so let us see about this thick filament first of all right so the thick filament consists of the protein it's known as a myosin myosin so don't forget it is one of this very important thing the a protein which is present in the thick filament is known as as myosin right okay so this myosin is made up of this monomeric units the myosin is fully it is composed of or it is made up of the monomeric unit the unit of this myosin is known as as mero myosin right mero myosin okay so this mero myosin so each unit of this myosin is known as mero myosin so this mero myosin consists of two regions that is head region with the short arm as well as the tail region so the so the head region will be as a globular structure that's why they said it's a globules like a globules it will be so it is a globular head with short arm right and the next part is known as a tail region so globular head as well as this tail region so this is the two part of this mero myosin okay then then we can say this head region consists of the two sides so the head region consists of two regions that is actin binding side as well as atp binding side then one more enzyme also is present here it is atpase 
right so this head region consists of two main sites that is actin binding site as well as atp binding site okay then one more enzyme is also located here that is atpas enzyme right actually the role of this atpas enzyme is to convert this atp into energy for this movement of this and this dark filament as well as this light filament so by this that we can discuss in the next chapter how this contraction process takes place with the help of this atp right okay so this is the site which is present in this uh, head region right and the next one this head region to this arm region the short arm region consists of hmm means heavy monomeric molecules otherwise we could say as heavy monomeric monomeric myosin or we can say this heavy myosin right so the myosin is the monomeric unit right so the myosin is fully it is made up of myosin right so in the head as well as along with this arm the short arm region it consists of heavy myosin so it will be more so that's why this is a heavy myosin so shortly we could say as h m m whereas in case of this tail consists of you know light myosin so hence it is known as l m m which means light myosin so this is the basic it is present in the thick filament right now let us discuss with the figure uh, what, wherever this is located is it clear so this thick filament is made up of myosin myosin is made up of this monomeric unit known as this myosin this myosin consists of the two regions one is this globular head and the second one is this filament stay right this head region consists of two sites actin binding site as well as this atp binding site then it consists of atp as enzyme to convert this atp into energy for the production of convert this atp into energy for the purpose of this contraction process right then this region consists of heavy myosin head region consists of heavy myosin while tail region consists of light myosin is it clear okay so let us look at the figure so this is a structure of this thick filament right so thick filament here the portion of thick filament right and uh, this consists of as we said the thick filament consists of the protein known as myosin right so this is the thick filament and the thick filament consists of the protein known as a myosin and it consists of this monomeric unit so this protein consists of the monomeric unit that is known as myosin right so this is this uh, myosin right this is the myosin and so this one one expanded form only given here right so actually this is a thick filament and this thick filament consists of the monomeric unit that is known as a myosin so each one is one myosin right okay then and here the head side is uh, facing opposite to the filament right so this is the filament side and the head is uh, moving opposite direction right it is facing opposite to the filament region right and as we said this so this is the expanded form of this one one uh, you know myosin so this myosin consists of the two regions we said right that is globular head region with a short neck right and it consists of this long tail right so head region globular head region with the short neck and it is extending as a tail region okay then what are the things we said it is present in this globular head actin binding site as well as atp binding site so here we can we could see this both actin binding site okay this is actin binding site this is present at this end here and this atp binding site is present just below this actin binding site so it possesses this head and the head consists of actin binding site 
actin actually where is this actin that we can say later right so this is an actin it is one of this protein actually it is present in the thin filament right so that only binds here so this is the place we can say actin used to bind okay and it consists of the atp binding site okay and one more thing we said is atpase enzyme which is useful to convert this atp into energy for the contraction process okay and as we said again heavy myomyosin is present in this you know neck region neck region and this light myomyosin is present in the tail region so this part they can mention as high myomyosin hmm and this part they mentioned as lm understand so this is the structure of this thick filament is it clear so this monomeric unit is there it is myomyosin it consists of head as well as its tail so that expanded form only explained here is it clear and let us go for the next filament it is thin filament understand so the next filament is thin filament so the thin filament is made up of as we said this protein known as actin so the thin filament consists of the protein known as actin right so here in the myosin we said it is a monomeric unit is myomyosin right so the same here thin filament consists of two regions right that is one is it consists of two filaments or a factin so it consists of two filaments or a factin filaments only short they written as f so two filaments actin will be there plus this filamentous actin consists of this monomeric globular or g actin understood so this thick filament is actually it consists of you know helix it consists of two helix so these two filaments you know forms as a helix or it is uh, winded each other that we can say so these two filaments or they or this is shortly mentioned as f filaments or f actin since it is as actin they mention it is as f actin so this f actin consists of this monomeric units that is called as globular or g actin so this g is shortly mentioned as g so globular actin or we can say as g actin right so this major protein which is present in the thin filament is known as, as actin so other than this this consists of this another two protein that is known as, as tropomyosin as well as troponin so tropomyosin as well as troponin so this three proteins along with this actin this tropomyosin as well as troponin also involved in this contraction process muscle contraction process right so now let us see regarding the structure of this thin filament is it clear okay so look at the figure so now this is the structure of this thin filament right so thin filament consists of as we say two filamentous actins so two filamentous actin is there can you watch this too so this is one filament the purple color so this is one filament right this is one filament and the second one this is another one filament so it's a two helix structure so this is winded each other right just it is a helix forms twisted helix forms so it consists of two filaments these two filaments are twisted right so this is this one filament can you watch this is one filament and this is the second filament right so it consists of two filamentous actins two filamentous actin is there it is in a helix form right and the second one each filamentous each filamentous actin is made up of globular actins it's a monomeric unit known as a globular actins big it me so this is a filamentous form so that's why they mentioned it as a filamentous actin since it's consists of this protein actin they mentioned it as a filamentous actin so two strands are there right but each strand 
each strand consists of the monomeric units can you watch so each strand consists of the monomeric units so this monomeric unit is known as, as globular so globular or we can say this g actin so the globular only shortly mentioned as g actin so the globular or g actin okay so this is this actin filament right so two actin filament is there and this consists of this monomeric unit that is known as globular actin or g actin so this is mentioned as g actin molecules okay so these two actually these two is mentioned as a actin strands these two together it is a filament so that's why they mentioned it as a actin strands okay then so this also consists of like this uh, myosin myosin we said it consists of this actin binding site right actin binding site the same here this is the actin so this actin monomeric unit which means this you know g g actins also consist of this binding site for myosin okay so this this is the site for this binding of actin the same where it is binding with this actin they mentioned it as a myosin binding site right so this part only myosin is to bind so that's why they mentioned it as so one monomeric unit is expanded here so active sites for myosin attachment so in this site only in the actin only myosin come and attach here so that's why it is known as active sites for myosin attachment okay so this globules so this each globule only they expanded here hence it is written as actin subunits okay so this actin subunit is there so here also it consists of this you know myosin i know attachment sites okay so other than this as we said already uh, other than this actin this consists of two more proteins that is tropomyosin as well as troponin right tropomyosin as well as troponin so can you watch this yellow color which is found along with this filaments that is known as tropomyosin as well as troponin so these two protein also involving in this you know muscle contraction process okay which is helping for contraction of this muscle understand so that's all about the structure of this you know contractile proteins right so mainly we can say about the two proteins which is present in this you know filaments that is a dark band consists of this you know myosin as far as the light band consists of this actin so hope you understood so this uh, contractile protein structure will be asked as a phimacostrin so either thick filament alone will be asked or thin filament alone will be asked or as a proteins contractile proteins it will be asked as a phimacostrin right and uh, so each from otherwise from each protein names so which protein is found in this thick filament which protein is present in this thin filament what are the other proteins which is present in the thin filament which is responsible for the contraction of this muscles so all these things also will be asked as either one mark question or two mark question as well as three mark questions right then this myosin the head region or it is this monomeric unit of this myosin also may will be asked you know this alone will be asked as either two mark or three mark question so this diagram will be asked so anyhow it is one of this major question to be concentrated so hope you can learn this right so it consists of these two regions you know thick filament consists thick filament as well as thin filament understand so this class we have studied about the structure of this contractile proteins and the next class we support to learn how this protein is involved for this uh, contraction so this is the major actually the protein which is present in this filament only going to involve in this contraction process so when this actin and the myosin moves so the step by step process it takes place 
the uh, muscles used to contract each other okay so that topic we will learn as a mechanism of muscle contraction in the next session right so until that please go through this topic and uh, learn and draw the diagrams and practice the diagrams hope you will do it and we can meet in the next class right thank you